What if you could save anywhere from 30 to 70 percent on the cost of heating or cooling your home by using the temperature deep in the ground? That's what people using geothermal energy are doing. Geothermal energy is drawn from the heat that naturally occurs in the Earth's interior. Forrest Meggers from the Andlinger Center for Energy and the Environment said this to CBS News. Goal is to take advantage of the fact that the soil has a lot of heat capacity, a lot of availability of heat. Underground temperatures tend to linger around 56 degrees Fahrenheit year-round. During frigid winter months, fluid is sent below ground to warm, then is pumped back up through a device that heats the fluid even more, releasing warm air into the house. In the summertime, geothermal units do the opposite. Hot air is pumped out of the home, then sent below ground to cool. This may sound like new technology, but according to the United Nations, geothermal energy has been in use commercially for more than 100 years. This kind of renewable energy is less likely to be seen in homes, but new legislation in the U.S. may make it more popular. On the federal level, we have the investment tax credit where the federal government just pays for 30% of the system. States like New York, Connecticut, and Massachusetts offer either tax credits or rebates for homeowners who embrace geothermal energy, though it still is not common practice. None of our neighbors or friends have done this, so they're all looking up to us to see how the performance is going to be. In the current mission to fight climate change with renewable energy, the UN says geothermal energy creates far lower emissions than burning fossil fuels. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.